The University of Tennessee Medical Center is our region's only academic medical center. Our mission is to serve through healing, education, and discovery. Our goal is to share the knowledge of our physicians and staff in these health education videos as you make healthcare decisions for yourself and your family. The kidney, for all intents and purposes, is an organ in our body that is really a filter. It's a very intelligent filter in that it is able to change its function based on what our uh, physiology is doing. For example, the kidney maintains the salts in our body, our balance of fluid, and uh, it also regulates our pH. Um, and it changes how much it filters or excretes based on how much fluid we take in, what our diet is, and um, what kind of acid-base balance we may have. For transplantation, uh, organs can come from basically two different places, deceased donors um, or living donors. In the case of deceased donors, the uh, circumstances, circumstances that are required in order for someone to be a potential organ donor candidate are very specific. The diagnosis of brain death is um, in most cases required and very specific. Um, in the case of living donation, these tend to have to be very healthy, um, younger people who are willing to donate to their kidney to someone they know. Um, or sometimes there are those who are willing to do what's called altruistic kidney donation, um, where they're willing to donate a kidney just to anyone who might need it. When someone finds out that their kidneys are beginning to fail and the possibility of dialysis is in their future, they will usually have a doctor who specializes in the care of the kidney, and that would be a nephrologist. Part of developing a treatment plan for kidney disease is the consideration of kidney transplant as uh, a treatment option. Once a referral is made to a transplant center, a variety of tests are run to assess whether or not the candidate for kidney transplant is a safe one and that they would benefit from kidney transplant. Our goals are two things. One, to make sure that the, the potential can, uh, kidney transplant recipient um, will survive a kidney transplant because it is a uh, big, complicated operation with a lot of risk and it, there is the requirement of long-term uh, immunosuppression, really lifelong immunosuppression. These medicines have a lot of side effects and they can uh, injure other organ processes. So what we need is to make sure that uh, the potential recipient will be able to handle the stress that a kidney transplant would require. Living kidney donation is um, one of the more preferred options for kidney transplant. Uh, living donors tend to be healthier um, and the surgical procedure can be done in a very controlled fashion. Um, when someone is interested in becoming a living kidney donor, um, all they have to do is contact a local uh, transplant center. They will be brought in for a variety of uh, physical examination and laboratory evaluations to assess their health. And if they are a candidate, and for the most part, uh, unless there are other severe medical illnesses that may risk that person having kidney disease in the future, most people can be a living donor candidate. Routinely, a kidney transplant is performed by placing the kidney in a location different than your native kidneys, the kidneys that you were born with. Usually, a kidney transplant is placed down in the pelvis. The pelvis is a good location for kidney transplant because it's close to large blood vessels. This allows us to easily reconnect the major blood vessels that travel in and out of the kidney, as well as connect the tube that drains the urine into the bladder. The bladder is down in the pelvis as well, and this close location makes this a much easier procedure. On average, the wait time for a kidney transplant is between one and three years. When an organ becomes available, determining who the recipient may be is based on a point system. This point system is uh, based primarily on wait time, so that is how long have you been on the list, your genetic similarity to the uh, donor, uh, your blood type, and how active your immune system may be in reacting to that organ. 
all of these factors um, are come into play. But on average, that wait time is between one and three years. We hope you'll join us for another medical moment. Visit utmedicalcenter.org or call the Healthcare Coordination Office at 865-305-6970 to learn about services available at the University of Tennessee Medical Center.